Like this girl is not a prisoner. She's there because she wants to be there. And you guys don't want her with DDG because you feel as though he's not the perfect guy for her. But in all reality, they get along. They mesh well. Hey cousins, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moni if you are new here. And today we're going to be reacting to a video entitled Chloe Bailey Blast DDG for Controlling Halle Bailey. And this video is by Kiki's T. Um, so shout out to her for the video. Let's get into it. Y'all, DDG is making headlines again for being controlling towards Halle Bailey. And if you thought you've heard of every weird thing about him, honey, get seated and grab some popcorn. DDG is messier than you could ever imagine. Apparently, Holly's sister Chloe is also done with his controlling behind and just wants Holly to give him the boot. Now, y'all have obviously- To be honest, I want to know who be making up these stories. <laughs> I, I personally used to tune in. I don't watch them anymore, really. But I used to tune into DDG's um, family and his, um, his channel. Mainly I'll catch them now on like Snapchat or something, but I'm not really too much into it anymore. But from what I've seen, DDG does not come off as controlling. Um, I don't really know his relationship with Chloe Bailey, but the interactions that I have seen, it doesn't appear like they don't like each other. In a very toxic relationship with DDG and how he is low key a control freak. So recently those allegations hit the roof when a blind item about DDG's behavior towards Holly at the 2024 Vanity Fair Oscars party started making rounds. He allegedly told her not of to talk to any other men item. and became upset after being excluded from a certain group photo. By the way, this is not the first blind item that has left people questioning DDG's anger issue. There was another one from a a few months back that suggested that DDG wanted to unalive Holly. I know what? that's even scary to imagine, but the blind item said that DDG blind items like that shouldn't be blind items. If you are assuming and alleging that this dude is tr trying to unalive her, that's not nothing. You you just keep a secret. You come forward and say that. Who releases a blind item stated that he wanted to unalive her? Like, that's ridiculous. G was going to ruin Holly's career. Maybe the blind item was exaggerating, but one thing that's coming out really clearly is that DDG has rage issues and has been controlling Holly. Well, this allegation about him being controlling and having rage issues shouldn't really come as a surprise. Because in case y'all forgot, we are also talking about someone who made a whole song about being insecure. In the first verse of his song, Famous, DDG was like, filming a movie, now you kissing dudes. You know I love you a lot. I don't give a F if that ish for promo. I don't want to see this ish no more. DDG then appeared to reference Holly Bailey holding hands with her co-star, Jonah Howard King, at the Little Mermaid's UK premiere, adding, why is y'all holding hands in the photo? You know I'm insecure, that's a no-no. I keep coming back, want to leave you, but I'm too attached. The song then goes even deeper into his insecurities with more lyrics saying, I've been so insecure that I be thinking you really sleeping with guys you in movies with, but on the internet, I just be cooling it. But in my head, a guy really losing it. I might just tweet something just to ruin it. And then when we thought it was was already bad enough, he goes ahead and says, it's a couple things about your job I want to know, I do. When you shoot your movie, do these guys turn you on? When you leave the set, do y'all still text each other phone? Sheesh! The misogyny in this song alone was loud, and the pure dismissal <laughs> of Holly was just disappointing to say the least. I mean, if these lyrics didn't scream control freak loud enough, I really don't know what will. And now we have all these blind items that saying that DDG has rage freak. issues and that has been controlling Holly. Like I said, it's possible the blinds like have stated. been exaggerated, but that doesn't mean that they are entirely fabricated. Honey, considering it's been said a couple of times that DDG... My thing is, like, that doesn't scream control freak. That screams that he's insecure. He, he's, he's in his head too much, which he's stating that he is. That doesn't mean that he's a control freak. But you can post those lyrics, but you can also post the fact that he stated, this is all for entertainment purposes. These are things that she has to do for work. These are things that I have to do for work. He's on camera stating that as well. So you can't post one without the other, in my opinion. 
he is a control freak, people could be onto something there. And it's things like this that are making people say that DDG is not right for Holly. You know, it's not just been about DDG controlling Holly or singing about his insecurities. There's also a bit of a history when it comes to DDG and other women that is just putting people off. Like for y'all who remember when he dated YouTuber Kennedy Simone, he put all their business out there. He would go to Twitter to spill everything she did and his supporters would troll her endlessly. He would also buy her things, then say she wasn't appreciative enough. And that again made his fans drag his ex through the mud. I'm Other than Kennedy, really back in February of 2023, <laughs> DDG was making headlines after another one of his ex-girlfriends, Ruby Rose, tweeted about seeing her ex's new girlfriend wear her old clothes. She didn't mention either DDG or Holly by name, but it was quickly noted that Holly was wearing a black and white t-shirt in an Instagram post that Ruby Rose had been seen in back in 2020. After Holly's fans came to her defense, Ruby clarified that she does like Holly, but she knows she doesn't deserve to be with somebody like DDG. And to prove that DDG is a weirdo, Ruby also leaked a DM she allegedly received from DDG around the time he wiped Holly from his Instagram when they had issues. Calling him a weirdo, but then in the next, the next week saying she's he's her favorite ex is weird. I honestly think this shit is all just for entertainment purposes to keep their businesses going, to keep their name in the limelight. All of these people are messy as hell, and they know what to do to keep the attention on them. In the messages, DDG seemingly asked Ruby to hang out. To which she replied, you hit me the day y'all argue is so you, lol. Around that time, DDG also made a very weird comment about all the girls being the same, seemingly implying that even Holly was like every other terrible chick he's come across. That very same month, fans also alleged that DDG used burner accounts at Aubrey Wiggins and Sneak Mode 13 to negatively comment and trash on the Little Mermaid, which again is weird given Holly is the Little Mermaid. When those two burner accounts were exposed, DDG tried to lie and say that his Sneak Mode 13 account was hacked and that the alleged hacker then made a tweet to reveal his supposed real account. Then there now, were that other is very two corny. accounts that were linked to him that both followed DDG, his family, Holly, and Chloe. They also both commented often on DDG's brother tweets, responded only to people in DDG's threads, they followed the same sports teams, and they the also frequently that? promoted DDG's music. Basically, what this means, according to most people, is that DDG is a weirdo that talks to himself online <laughs> with multiple accounts. And get this, one of the burner accounts that was linked to DDG called World of Finesse has some very spicy interactions with a girl called Diana. In their chats, Diana begs for a feature with DDG, while World of Finesse constantly begs Diana to make an OnlyFans account. Maybe it was already weird that DDG was using burner accounts to talk to himself, but to imagine that he was also using them to hit on other girls too? Child, this is the kind of behavior controlling people have, and that's why, to a lot of people, it's really not hard to believe that he could be controlling Holly. But is she this clueless though? Now, there were previous reports saying that Holly's family especially her sister Chloe, does not like DDG at all because he gets his views and income from being outlandish on the internet. Apparently, the family members also agree that Holly's association with DDG could be hurting her career in many ways. For instance, the song For the First Time for The Little Mermaid was initially submitted to be considered for a nomination at the Oscars for Best Original Song, and Disney even posted a list of the categories they were campaigning to get nominated on their official website, and Holly's song was a part of it. However, after the news of Holly getting pregnant started going around, they pulled the song. According to a source who spoke to Media Takeout, Disney was not happy when they found out Holly was pregnant and decided to throw her out of the nomination list. They felt like her pregnancy would stop her from performing her duties, which would have helped for the song to get a nomination at the Oscars. The source then said, the backlash from Holly Bailey's pregnancy to rapper DDG is starting to have ramifications to her career. They just removed Holly from Oscar consideration for best original. I didn't know we still pay attention to Media Takeout. Especially in 2024. Like, who's actually going on typing mediatakeout.com and looking at their website? That's crazy to me. <laughs> in 2024, Media Takeout is still around. Original song. Holly was all but certain to get an Oscar nomination for her performance. Well, as far as DDG is concerned, he knows exactly how fans have been feeling about this relationship, and he has actually talked about it a few times. For instance, this is what he said when he was explaining the meaning to the lyrics of his song, 
I'm geeking to genius. They made a petition to sign me off. I'm like, bro, is it really that deep? Am I really that bad of a dude? Like, it's dudes out here that's really bad for a girl, though. Like, really cuckoo. He also said that y'all have no idea what's going on. And to the best of his knowledge, he's actually an amazing boyfriend to Holly. When people comment on relationships, I'm like, bro, y'all don't know what's really going on. That's what's wrong with the internet. They just take everything without context and create their own. Like I said, from the videos that I've seen of their family together and the videos that Hallie has been included in, he seems very genuine to her. He seems very attentive to her. Um, he seems very softer when he's around her. So I don't know. I don't I get the stuff with the the Twitter that he shouldn't have been posting the things that he was both posting and doing the things that he was doing. But at the end of the day, like we've all can agree, his claim to fame is being outlandish on the internet and trolling. That's how he makes his income. And Hallie knows that because from what I read, she was a fan of his before he even knew who she was. So she knew what came with him was being with him. Granted, I don't think he should be trolling his his serious relationship because it's a serious relationship. But at the end of the day, she know what came with, with being with him. So maybe they personally have that understanding between each other and the internet is just the internet and they have no idea. But like I said, from the interactions that I see in their daily vlogs or their monthly vlogs, whatever it is that they post in their other family, he seems to be a very good boyfriend to her. And I'm only going off of what I've seen with my own eyes in comparison to the stuff that he does on the internet where he's trolling to be relevant. And he shouldn't, in my opinion, he shouldn't be trolling his relationship. Troll anything else. But your relationship, you shouldn't be trolling about. Like, that's whack. Own story. In addition, during an interview with Revolt, DDG opened up about dating Holly and blocking out negative opinions of people saying that they should break up and this is what he said. We don't really pay attention to any of that, to be honest. It's the internet, it's Twitter, and they aren't real people to me, personally. We're best friends. We're surprisingly very alike and we can kick it. She's very fun and a funny person because humor and personality is seem a big thing. Very much alike. We cannot act like boyfriend and girlfriend, which we do because we display PDA and stuff. But beyond that, we can chill and that's the best part. I don't know, guys. DDG insists that he is a solid guy. But in your opinion, do you think it's possible he could be controlling Holly? Does he come off as someone who has rage issues? And is he, in fact, destroying Holly's career? Drop All right, guys. So that was Chloe Blast DDG for controlling Holly Bailey by Kiki's T. So shout out to her for the video. Um, to answer her questions in the video no i don't think he has rage issues he doesn't come off as someone who has rage issues um he doesn't come off someone as being violent from the videos that i've seen of him and his family um i honestly think he's a very down to earth and sweet guy from the interactions that i've seen with him and hallie he's someone who's very much so about his family and making money, unfortunately, he makes his money in a weird way to where he's everything is always on the internet and he's trolling for clicks and he's trolling for views. Unfortunately, that's what his job is. Um, but aside from that, I don't think he's controlling Hallie. I don't know why people have this idea that Hallie Bailey is this damsel in distress and she's like put up hidden away from people and she's being forced to do things that she doesn't want to be no Halle Bailey not in a negative way is a hood rat from Atlanta Georgia she know how to get down like she's not she's not just gonna go for a dude that's just gonna be controlling her and telling her what to do that's not her personality but people seem to think that she's this gentle girl who she talks softly and she's very beautiful. She's this little princess. But no, that's not who Halle Bailey is from the things that I've seen from her outside of her music and outside of her being an actress. Like this girl is not a prisoner. She's there because she wants to be there. And you guys don't want her with DDG because you feel as though he's not the perfect guy for her. But in all reality, they get along. They mesh well.
So no, I don't think he has rage issues. No, I don't think he's controlling her. And no, I don't believe Chloe Bailey doesn't like him. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Later.